Good evening everyone in today's video I am going to discuss Poisson distribution example 2 in my first video I have discussed first example of Poisson distribution so here we go here is the example and uh, I am just going to bring it up it is explaining that proof reading of 200 pages of a 550 page book is done number of mistakes per page are listed in table 1 it is observed that the mistakes follow a Poisson distribution and it is assumed that the mistakes will follow the same pattern throughout the book. Then I have to find that how many pages in the total book, which is of 550 pages, have 5 mistakes, it has more than 3 mistakes, and the last one is fitting the poison distribution to entire book. That means identifying the uh, all number of mistakes which are mentioned right here in the book. So, uh, in table 1, this is right here, I have been given with uh, uh, the proof read uh, data of 200 pages and let's explain let's see what exactly is in the table so uh, there are zero mistakes on 115 pages when somebody was proofreading the book there was one mistake on 70 pages two mistakes on eight pages three on five four mistakes on one page five mistakes on one page and there is there are a total 200 pages which will be in proof rate now the next is that it is assumed that the data uh, means the mistakes throughout the book follow the same pattern that means they follow the poison distribution then on the basis of that information I have to answer this question so many times people ask a query that uh, how do we check whether the data follows a poison distribution or not so I don't have the sufficient time to explain it but this is the reference which I'm mentioning here you can go through this paper and you can identify that uh, you can see that uh, my data is particularly following poison distribution or not so you can use this reference right here let me put it down so uh, okay so uh, as i explained earlier in my first video i need my parameter lambda that means average number of mistakes per page in this and after that i'm going to fit in the poison distribution and calculate all these three answers so in order to calculate lambda which is average mistakes per page i need to actually <coughs> find out the average number of mistakes per page and I hope all of us know the formula to find out average in such a cases where frequency and the value of x is given. I can still rewrite the formula for all of you. So I already know that uh, x bar is sum of fx, fx divided by sum of f. So that, that's exactly, uh, you know, is the formula for, uh, uh, if you could uh, see that this is the formula for uh, calculating mean, that means I need some fx divided by some f. And in this case, my uh, this x bar would actually be equal to, but exactly this particular x bar would be equal to, it will be equal to lambda. That means my parameter of poison probability distribution. So I need sum of fx, so I'll use a clean Excel function, which is a multiplication function. So first I need fx, f times x, and that's it. So it gives me fx, I'm going to pull it down. This gives me total 110. And I've already set up the formula here. Let me delete it, so I'll redo the formula. And so I have my sum fx in this cell and my sum f here in this particular cell. So in order to calculate lambda, I'm going to go to my sum fx divided by sum f. And that is going to give me the average number of mistakes per page. That means the lambda value, mean value. Now I'm going to fit in the poison distribution here uh, in order to check that how many mistakes uh, are there on a 550 page book if the pattern uh, is, remains same. So I'm going to use my poison distribution function as I explained earlier, poison.dist. So you can refer my example one if you want more explanation about poison distribution. It asks me for x value, which is right here zero. I want to check uh, fit in, in uh, fit it for x is equal to zero. And then it asks me for lambda value, which is right here. I have calculated. So I'm, since I'm going to use this lambda value throughout uh, throughout the table, so I'm going to freeze it by using my F4 key. And then it asks for true or false and I have already explained, you can refer the previous videos, what does this false and true means. Right now I'm using false because I want exactly zero mistakes. That means what is the probability of having exactly zero mistake. 
so I just close the parenthesis hit enter and it gives me there is a 57.69% chance that I find zero mistakes on a single page if I am reading it and I pull it through it fits in well right so uh, you can see that it is the formula is working absolutely fine here I'm going to use the cumulative function for poison I'll again say that refer to my previous video if you want to have a uh, you know a clean idea about uh, cumulative and uh, uh, what I should say is uh, my exact match so again I'm using my X then average and this time I'm going to use the cumulative function which is true and uh, all the values come in and you can see the probability right here is 1 right so the, I just fit in the values now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate number of pages which are having certain mistakes and means how many pages are there which are having certain number of mistakes so I have my number of pages 500 here 550 rather so I got 550 pages right here so what I'm going to do is probability is equal to probability of having zero mistakes times the number of pages that is going to give me that if this pattern follows the mistakes follow the same pattern then in that particular case how many number of pages are going to be there in a 550 page book where there is no mistake at all so since I'm going to use it throughout I'll press my F4 key and I hit return and it says me 317.32 approximately 317.32 pages I can round it up by using my round function so you can easily use the Excel round function and uh, I just want to round it to the zero places after decibel and I can hit enter so 317 pages will be there in this 550 may be there not will be in this 550 pages book no, on, on, on these number of pages there will be no mistake at all so I'll pull this particular formula down and shows there will be about approximately 175 pages having one mistake, 48 pages having two mistakes, 9 pages having three mistakes. So since these are number, I have already rounded them up. Let me see how many total pages exactly are there. Yeah, 550, precisely correct. So now let's answer the questions one by one. The first question is how many pages of the book have five mistakes? So if I look into five mistakes, approximately zero. Now you would say that there is already one page which uh, one page which has five mistakes, but the number on 550 number because probability is just an approximation. So the number on a 550 page book is so negligibly small. Perhaps I'll find one or two pages. So it is nearly equal to zero. Approximation is nearly equal to zero. Now how many pages will have three mistakes? Precisely nine. I can see it here. Let me give it a little different color. Nine mistakes. Five mistakes. No, it is more than three mistakes. So more than three mistakes. Mm, that's important. So let's see how many pages have more than three mistakes. So I'll use the cumulative function here. So more than three mistakes means three. That means four mistakes and five mistakes. So if I look into this particular function right here, that means this particular cell 0.9975 is the probability of getting three or less mistakes. So what is the probability? So I'm going to uh, calculate the value in this particular cell, which says what is the probability of having more than three mistakes? The probability of having more than three mistakes would be one minus probability of three or less mistakes. And I have given a clear explanation of these kind of examples in my previous videos. You can refer them. So that is give, going to give you the probability of having more than three mistakes. Now, if I multiply the same probability by number 550 right here yes so there will be you know very few pages perhaps around two pages where I'll be find be finding more than three mistakes so this is the answer to question number B if I round it up again let me round it and I'll round it to zero so around one page approximately one page I'll be able to find on which I'll be uh, you know there'll be uh, I, what I would say is that more than three mistakes are there approximately one page would be there 
now i'm going to uh, recheck the things a little bit like if you see that uh, the last part is fit the poison distribution to entire book and this is the uh, poison distribution fit that means pro <laughs> probability that x uh, number of pages with zero mistakes one mistake two mistake three mistakes and so on similarly here also like if you see this these are the probabilities uh, of uh, having zero one two three four or five mistakes now uh, you can cross check the particular problem if i change the number of pages to 200 here look at this if i change the number of pages here 200 then it is coming approximately 198 that means that means around 200 pages in total so this is a little cross check like 115 here 115 here 63 oops this went wrong because perhaps i rounded the function up so if you remove the round it will come approximately equal 17300 0, 0. so uh, what i am saying is what i what do i mean by is that for if i am using 200 pages right here it is also giving me that in total nearly uh, the values are approximately similar so uh, that's that's exactly how i conclude the poison distribution here and uh, that's it thank you very much